because I'm recording the first part of that. Are you serious? <laughs> One more time. I want to scare somebody. Okay, drive forward. Drive forward. Go. Go. Hey team Maceland, working on the wood. Yeah. <laughs> Is that too much, too much energy for you right there? No, I just didn't want wood shards to get in my eyeball. All right, how much wood do you think we got? Are we gonna make it the winter? Um, I don't know. Gotta fill the whole car for it. You have to cut down another tree then. Okay, well, I need to anyways for room for our solar panels. Yeah. But together we're a good team. We're teamwork, make the dream work. <laughs> All right, you guys in YouTube land, tell me what you would do in the comments. What I'm doing is I'm having to, to put a board here, and I want this board to wrap around the post, but then stick out about five inches outside the post. So how would you cut a two by six so that it was pretty close, within a half an inch of this post, and wrap around it in a circular pattern? So what Matt and I decided we're gonna do is, we know that this two by six is about an inch and a half to two inches right here. So we drew a line the same thickness as this one, knowing that that's how much of this board is gonna hang right here, okay? Then we also know where this post starts right here. So we measured from five inches over to the post and we drew a line there. So we have a line going this way and a line going this way. Then I went into the forest and I chainsawed off a little hot plate here off a tree that I know is the same, if not more diameter than this post. And I laid it on there between those two lines. So this part of the arc touches this small line and this part of the arc touches this line. And then I drew a little circle here, like a compass. And I'm guessing that that's gonna be the right curvature we need and the right cutout of this board to just plug it in. So let's do it and find out together if it works. behind the scenes. Hands out for us here. Looks good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Very nice. It's 98%. It's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Perfect. Gotta cut this one a little bit and then we can just kick butt and 
screw the rest of them in pretty simply until we get to the next post. Yep, got them made. All right, for the first part. Hey. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Starting early. Yes. How does it look? Looks very nice. Looks very clean. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> I mean, powerful. Thanks. You're welcome. I really like. <sighs> Yeah. Scared that squirrel. How do you like it? I love it. I think it turned out great. Wait until we have the roof on it and uh, the wraparound deck that goes around the whole yurt. Okay, it's been three days and our kimchi is smelling really good. The lids are on nice and loose so that it can breathe. And uh, on the third day, I wanna try some. Then we can store this longer, but Nicole and I will eat this vigorously. So we got this uh, Napa cabbage leaf on top, kind of like a little bit of a protector, like insulation there. We'll eat that too, but Let's see a little cucumber. Mmm. Carrot. Mmm. Mmm, that ginger. Very tasty. Ooh, Napa. Perfect. We're gonna have it on spring rolls today. And there's bubbles coming up. It's fermenting. Jake and I and Matt are just getting a bunch of stuff done, moving some things, cleaning up some things. Um, we have a, another visitor coming at this weekend um, that we're really excited. Um, my dad's actually coming, so we're super jacked, but it's another sunny blue sky day. So we're taking advantage of it, um, having things dry out that got a little wet. We have all the solar panels out, charging the batteries, and we're also dehydrating some things. So I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm dehydrating in the sun. We got these really cool bamboo baskets in Chinatown in Vancouver. But under here, we have some apples. There's not very many, but it's just kind of an experiment. Those. And this little one, I'm dehydrating some ginger. And I just cut into cubes. And in this one, we have some lavender. And we just keep the lids on them so they don't get burnt by the sun and they keep all of their nutrients. Okay, so for people out there watching, this is like rope to fishing line now that we threw the rock and then pull the rope back up there. Where's the rock? It's dangling there. We can drop it on somebody. All right, all right. here it comes. 
Almost. Got it. Nice. Think this line is strong enough to pull that rope up there? Yep, I do. Okay. Especially if I keep giving it some slack so you're not just... It's going up. Oh. You think that that knot can make the transition over the branch right there? Or is it going to get stuck? I think it'll make it. I'm pulling this line pretty hard right now. Seems caught. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is stretching the line not, like the rope's not moving, yeah? Ah, keep pulling. Hold on. Can you pull yours back a little bit? Down? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm totally caught, like. Okay, stop. Let me, let's go again. <clears throat> Can you walk away from it a bit and get it tighter? Oh! Bro. Yeah. Did we lose it? Yeah, it's all the way up there. But I got an idea. What's that? Since it's up there so high, you just keep walking the rope around the tree and let's like lasso it a couple times and see what happens. For sure. Just like do like maybe like three wraps around it and let's tie it and see if that's enough to pull it that, that way. Since it's so high already, by the time you last you around it, that will that will bind it. Yep. Let's try that. It'll be pulling it more from the bottom though. That's okay. It's still higher than your hand, Tai Chi style. For sure, that's true. Let's just I mean it's an experiment. Let's just see what happens. All right, everybody. Let's see if we can get this to fall right at the truck. It's gonna get hung up by all that debris, all the stuff in its way. But the tree is leaning this way, and we're trying to get it to fall this way. This is experiment number one. Okay, drive forward, drive forward, go, go, go. Perfect. Ah, that worked pretty good. Hey, that worked perfect. Sweet. That tree was chasing you down. Yeah, it was. Did you see it drop right behind the truck? I did. I was looking back, not forward. You, you pulled forward the perfect amount. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe.